Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Niqua. For the past couple of weeks, I've been on a book review roll. I am so thankful for the opportunity to be able to read these books before they are officially out so I can get these book reviews out for you guys to tell you some very awesome, wonderful books. So today, once again, I'm not going to disappoint you again on this wonderful book. So please sit back, relax, and continue watching so you can learn more about this book. So if you haven't already, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here and also give this video a like sometime throughout the video so let's get started with this video so the most fantastic book that I'm going to be able to talk to you guys about is the second book in the Frisky Business series. So I have read the first and reviewed the first book in the Frisky Business series called The Boyfriend Effect. So it will be a link down below or even at the top in the eye so you can go check that out. If you haven't read that book yet or realized that this was a series yet, you can go ahead and check that out. That was the first book. So this is the second book in the Frisky Business series. That's the wonderful, amazing Kendall Ryan has written and it is called My Brother's Roommate. So for these books they're all kind of standalone books and they follow the storyline of like the five main frisky business guys and their loved ones I should say. In the first one we was introduced to Marin and Hayes and the boyfriend effect and, and now we are introduced to the second wonderful hot man of the frisky business but the two main characters that are, are in this book in the My Brother's Roommate is a Wolfie and Penelope. So let's deep dive and tell you more about what this book is about. So when reading the first book, a Wolfie came off as more um, guarded and mysterious and you know, he was kind of like, I, I want to say like the father of the gang um, or I made a different word for that but he was more like the mature one of the gang, more serious and more stern but mysterious. So he was always something that you want to know more about. So I was so excited that Wolfie's was the next book because I really want to know more about him. So a Wolfie and the, his five friends um, with Hayes and there's Wolfie and then there's Connor, Caleb and Ever. They built this company called Frisky Business and they are like the all the CEOs, the head guys of this business. I'm not going to tell you what this business is if you don't know yet. Um, please read those books to find out. It's so cool and spicy. So in this book, My Brother's Roommate, Penelope was introduced in this book and Penelope is the sister of Wolfie's roommate Connor and to give a context Wolfie is Marin from the first book's older brother Wolfie is Hayes best friend so it's called a kind of big triangle of love stories so Penelope needed help with the, her job and she was going on to this retreat and needed a plus one she didn't feel like Connor should go and so a Wolfie went with her and that's how their relationship kind of blossomed and went on from there. So Penelope, she's trying to upgrade in her job to a better position. She is very sweet and caring and she is very strong-minded as well and very determined and Wolfie and Penelope are very smart and they are very yin and yang. Uh, Wolfie is very more serious and um, stern. I will say where Penelope is more like have that fun vibe. They're complete opposite when you read it. Like like I always say, opposites attract. So since Penelope was Connor's younger sister, she never thought that Wolfie would see her in a different light than the younger sister of Connor. And Wolfie, on the other hand, never was would have thought someone sweet and caring and beautiful as Penelope would like a guy like him. And it's so crazy once you find out more about Wolfie's story and who Wolfie is because you don't really get that much of a story or who he is in the first book. Like I said, he's very off guard and guarded to what personal stuff was said to his friends. And once you find out more of his um, story and all of that, it's really emotional and like it's very sad what he feels once you in his point of view on those chapters. Like you feel how he feels and it's very really crazy and um, I can't believe that he went through that or um, how 
his past has affected his now self. It's really sad that he um, downgrades himself in that way. But I feel like Penelope really like helps him with seeing more for the future than just seeing his past. So this book is going to have some very emotional parts in this book. Um, I feel like it's going to bring some emotions out of you one way or another. So it's it's very good. I, the first book was really good, but this one was like so good. Like I said that to a lot of books, but this one for this particular series for this book is it really gives you that emotional value that you really like and make this book so good. So a couple of things where I got to the, like the deeper meaning where I got in this book is let's see. Don't let the past control your future. Like the past did happen. Learn from it and just kind of like push on and move on so you can have a better future. Another meaning I felt that this book had is like don't let something good get away from you like Penelope was something good for Wolfie and vice versa so like I felt like don't let that something good get away when that goodness wants you regardless and to maybe like also don't be scared to follow your heart regardless of what you think so those are kind of like the main things that I got from this book I just really love this one I didn't really want Wolfie and Penelope's story to end because like I just really wanted to keep reading their story I just really love this so much so my brother's roommate is out today it's available today so right after you finish watching my video please go check it out go support Kendall Ryan go support and grab this book up today because it's so awesome so awesome you need to read this and you need it in your head you need to read it and know it and know this whole family of friends like I can't wait for the next book like oh my god I'm so ready for that and the first one was so great and so easy and I just this series is amazing already so in my brother's roommate it is 23 chapters in this book and it also has an epilogue so I just count that as a another chapter because it's really a, another chapter to me so I say 24 but 23 with an epilogue this book follows like always in both of the main characters point of view so you get to be in Wolfie's head and then you also get to be in Penelope's head and you get both of their emotions both of their point of views both of where their minds are at the, the Pacific time and throughout the, each chapter it's just really really good I just love that you know that if you have listened to some of my book reviews before I just love that so um, authors should always do both point of views in a book. It gives you that uh, full picture of this one wonderful story. This book is a standalone book, so what's good, you get to have Wolfie and Penelope's story all in this book. So this whole frisky business series is called Let Me Standalone Novels. So technically, you can read all these books in, in any kind of order because you get their full story in that one particular book but I feel like when the first book is the first book it gives you like the overview of everything so I really still feel that boyfriend effect with Hayes and Marin is the first book that you should read first and then go ahead and read Wolfie and Penelope's story but if you don't want to do it that way you are still golden because you get to have both of their stories all in one book and it won't get all confusing with Boyfriend Effect and My Brother's Roommate, I just already have a lot of fun with reading this book and I'm already like attached to these guys and to these characters and to these women characters to see where their story lies and see how their story developed and see what Kendall Ryan did with all of their stories. If you love the Hot Jock series of all the, those lovely hockey players, you're going to definitely love the Frisky Business series and uh, this is by far some good stuff okay good good reading here so I definitely recommend you guys to grab this book up it's great in time for Christmas like go and pick this book up to have a, your own Christmas present or to give someone who loves like a romance novel like yeah by far amazing Christmas present whoever loves to read and this is just so great and such a great book and a good book series for someone to read as well this book is available and comes out today so don't miss out you're gonna be disappointed if you do so please 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 
go ahead and cherish this book and grab it up. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really hope I didn't leave anything out that I wanted to say, but I just wanted to tell you guys that this is a great book to read and to enjoy and to have. Go down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and give this video a like if you haven't before now. Like, what are you doing, ma'am? What are you doing? But other than that, thank you so much, and I catch you back next week with something else. Bye!